Hello, uh, I'm Maria and I'm here with the Burning to Learn team in Switzerland and we're here to find out how people from all around the world would raise a thousand smiles, so here's how we got on. So what brings you to Co? Well I was in Co twice earlier, first in 2009 and then uh, last year. Okay. Uh, this year uh, what interested me was the TIG program, <laughs> an opportunity to hear um, business thinkers, people who are concerned with the economy, different stakeholders, mm -hmm. not only business, uh, their points of view, how they are grappling with the challenging situation the world is going through, yeah. and uh, to better understand you know, what the world is doing and how that could apply to me personally, and how we could take some of this back to India and uh, you know, use it. Brilliant. Okay, so what brings you to Co? Um, I work with a, um, a social enterprise in, in Withenshaw, which is a rather tough part of Manchester. And uh, I've become quite engaged with them over the last three years. And uh, through a chance meeting in a car park with IOC UK, um, they connected with I IOC and um, they've got involved in some of the initiatives in the UK. And, uh, and Don De Silva mentioned about this uh, uh, Teague event and uh, here we are, uh, surrounded by good people. Um, so what brings me to Co is a combination of revisiting past adventures and, and good times and connecting with uh, good friends and fascinating people and initiatives and trying to stop for a little while, breathe, listen, um, reflect and uh, try and go back to go back to the world down the mountain uh, slightly refreshed. Mm -hmm. So what brings you to Cove then? Well, a number of factors. Uh, first of all, I've had an association with people who are involved in IFC over the last 35 years. Mm -hmm. My experience was that basically they were very good people. They had skills that I could tap into and use, mm -hmm. and they were interested in people other than themselves. And how do you feel now that you are here? I think it's fantastic. I made a mistake 35 years ago when I got an invitation and not coming. Uh, because the things that could have happened and the scaffolding I could have built up to support the community that I'm in at the moment and have been for over 40 years uh, could have been so much better. But somebody else once said, don't dwell in the former things. What are we going to do now? And I've been to Co, and I think it's been absolutely fantastic and I hope to build on all of the things I've heard and all of the things I've shared with people today. Well, I think the reason I really enjoy it is because the reason I run my business is for a purpose beyond profit. So the inspiration to going to work is, of course, we do make money and we must make money because otherwise the business is not sustainable. Mm -hmm. But the inspiration really is that if, I know that if we run the business well, we're able to then create impact in the lives of people whether it be the employees who work with us, our customers, our suppliers, society at large, you know. Just the fact that we're able to pay our taxes makes me happy because I know that money will go to villages in India in terms of water, electricity, infrastructure. So there is a higher inspiration in you know, running the business. Brilliant, brilliant. And how do you feel now that you are here? Was it what you expected? Um, I came with quite an open mind to be honest, I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure what to expect having never been here before, um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, I've had a fantastic uh, week so far, um, met some amazing people just doing quite remarkable projects in, in around the world and it, I guess it's kind of uh, refreshing to, to meet people with similar agendas to kind of doing things properly and, and um, not just focusing on profit like unfortunately a lot of businesses in this um, So you do a lot of work in your own community um, yeah. and one of the things we're doing is based on making people happier. Um, so it's quite a big question but what would you do to raise a thousand smiles in your community? To raise a thousand smiles in my community uh, on a serious note I would want to create a thousand jobs. <laughs> in another way we raised a thousand smiles just two weeks ago and what we did was we brought almost a thousand children to the new stadium which will house the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in 2014. 
of these almost 1,000 children, each one of them is from a different primary school, about 15 primary schools, and to ensure that they transfer to high school and are able to have friends and contacts, we bring them together and we have an Olympic Games and we call it the Fair Mini Olympics. I was there that day, there were a thousand smiles. <laughs> I want to talk a different language and appeal to you as a human being first. And for me, it's, it is more so that I'll, I can contribute to a smile by smiling first. Because it's how I leave you that matters. I can shout at you, I can, I can fight with you again, and then I'll, we shake hands and walk away and I'm feeling good. And you go and you go home and you smile to your kids and to your grandma and, and you pass that on. And it's just by doing. For me, it's, it's action. I don't tell you how I smile. I lift it up the corners of my mouth. I do it. And, and that would be in my actions, is doing. is doing it. Doing the smile. Action. Music's something that's um, close to my heart and it makes me smile. So yeah. I'm sure if it makes me... I'm, I'm slightly odd, but I'm not completely odd. So if it <laughs> makes me smile, then it, it, might, it probably makes a lot of people smile. So um, put on a big free music big. event and then just let everyone come down in the sunshine and enjoy it. So, um, what's really important to me is, is helping people to discover their talents and sometimes people's talents are hidden yeah. or have been uh, bashed down by the situations that they're in. So for me it's about enabling people to, to realise what their talent is and, and embrace it and, and kind of run with it and hopefully that would make them smile. That's fantastic, thank you very much for your time. Sure, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, that was excellent, both of you. Brilliant, thank you. Um, and lastly, how would you raise a thousand smiles back home in India? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Um, you know, I would really put it down to asking myself this question, and I do that uh, off and on, that can I put a smile on the face of every person I interact with? Whether it be, um, you know, just as I leave my building and there's a doorman, you know, yep. I've, I've noticed that the day I'm, I smile at him and just ask him how he's doing, he smiles back at me. I mean, I could just walk out of the lobby, get into my car and move off and, you know. Um, but I could make that extra effort. And I think that if, if, I'm, if I'm happy, let me put it this way, if I am basically happy from within, my ability to make people smile will be much greater. Okay. It'll be it'll be like an effortless, you know, be, and it's just about looking at a stranger and smiling, you know, for no apparent reason. I, that's the only way I would do it. Little things. Yeah, <laughs> just just, I think if I smile, I'd be able to make a thousand. I, or let me put it to you this way as well. Without me smiling, I don't think I can make even one more person smile. Forget a thousand. It's <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs>